And each of doing that with each word, that's a decision, you know, because you can use your language to manipulate and you can use your language to, for your own, say, hedonistic purposes or to gain power. Or you can just say what you think. Every, like all of those different choices are a decision. That's a wrestling. That's a moral decision. And it, it shines in every word. And so it's, it's super important. That's part of the reason why in the Christian canon, the word is the basis of reality, right? It's the force that, it's the process that generates the order that's good out of possibility and chaos, mm. right? And so that's, and Israel, the word Israel means we are, we who are, we who wrestle with God. So that's the chosen people, mm. right? And so what that means at a deeper level even is that if you're genuinely wrestling with your conscience, then you're someone who's chosen by God. And I think that's, that's right. That's accurate. It's interesting what you just said. Uh, one of uh, Terrence McKenna's lectures, he talked about a, a very profound psychedelic experience that he had where he was given this revelation that the world is made out of words. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That everything is made out of words. Mm -hmm. He had just some sort of a profound understanding of what r words really mean. Well, how much of the reality that surrounds you has been, what would you say, uh, has emerged out of the realm of possibility because of what you've said? A lot. And you've had this huge influence on the world that's all a consequence, all, all, almost all a consequence of what you've said. And so there's an insistence in the Judeo-Christian canon that whatever, that the capacity that words have to shape possibility is akin or identical to the process that generates reality itself. And I think that's true. That's, that's why in the opening chapters of Genesis were described as formulated in the image of God. We're like a microcosm of the process that gives rise to order itself. 